Hello, my name is Alex and um, I would like to give you an update on the school of wood carving I have and that's already a few months uh, out there and I have um, a lot of people actually joined the school from all over the world. Um, uh, previously uh, I had uh, many people would send me email and ask me why don't I teach uh, you know wood carving although I do teach uh, physical classes and at different schools throughout the country but uh, online it's actually would be a lot easier for people who live let's say in Australia or um, some European countries I do have some students from uh, Denmark I have some Sweden I have from uh, UK I have some from Israel I have from Argentina from uh, uh, Mexico from Canada of course multiple guys from United States and it would be impossible for me uh, to travel uh, and uh, give those guys uh, lessons. But now, I mean, everybody can join from any place in the world and uh, enjoy the teaching, what I do. And uh, I believe uh, I know uh, how to carve. Um, I really, you know, I'm, I'm, I am wood carver. I'm a carving since childhood. And a few times, actually, I won a, a good awards like for example this piece won me uh, 2012 uh, as a best wood carver I've got another piece like 2015 I also uh, won as a best uh, wood carver and uh, I know how to carve and I invite you to join the school. Uh, we're working on different projects and uh, some simple ones, some complicated ones. Let's say, for example, this is a small rosette and uh, this rosette is kind of uh, simple, I would say. And uh, we do have a project we're working right now. Uh, it's a really complicated project. It's gonna be uh, like a Glen Gibbons style. And once it's done, it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So. Uh, for example, uh, we're gonna have a, a project right now. It's just a panel. You know what I did? I got ready this panel for a, a furniture panel. It's gonna be a, a, like a Chippendale style furniture carving. Although it's not only Chippendale who used uh, that type of uh, carving, but it's gonna look something like this. Similar. Well, it's upside down, right? So it's gonna look something like that. Different design though different design but anyway uh, for example uh, just came back I was teaching in person uh, some class in uh, Mark Adams school and we carved uh, some grapes and a contest leaf this piece is not done yet but uh, was similar to that uh, we're gonna do on uh, online and uh, we're gonna talk about different types of a contest leaves which is uh, you probably should understand a contest leaf is not just a contest leaf there's a long uh, history of uh, a contest leaf you know there's a, a greek a contest leaf there's a romanesque or roman style a contest leaf uh, there's a byzantine a contest leaf there's a moroccan a contest leaf there's a belgium a contest leaf there's a french a contest leaf there's an english a contest leaf there's a different types of a contest leaves and we're going to talk all about those a contest leaves uh, step by step uh, covering the design stages and uh, the differences and so on uh, also we talk about the sharpening and uh, uh, there's going to be a link uh, follow that link i'll give you a taste of uh, you know sharpening i'll give you for free access uh, to some of the segments in my school uh, you know just a free sharpening lessons just uh, watch those taste it if you like it or not it's uh, up to you but uh, I can assure you I know how to carve and I know how to take you to the next level okay uh, you probably do have a question uh, there's a few different schools online and I uh, please understand I really do honor and I respect all of those people in all of those schools and we all different though okay so every one of us developed absolutely different approach and even if uh, the title is the same as a master but still we do have a different approaches you just uh, look at the final work what we do uh, uh, look at what we achieved what awards we have I mean for example the style of the design complexity of the design and if you want to learn 
uh, you know, a certain style, please do that, okay? If, if you like my style, I'll teach you how I do that. You just to follow. Also, uh, check what other people think. I do have uh, uh, some people, like I said, not only from all over the world, but I have some people as young as, uh, uh, you know, 11 years old. So they are also watching the lessons and they learn how to carve. And I also have already over 80 years old uh, people. I do have some people with PhD in design and they also learn. Uh, I have some uh, people PhD in different areas like uh, uh, historians and uh, uh, physics and so on. And they still learning, you know, how to carve. Uh, because what we do, uh, I'm explaining my way, how I approach my design, how to think in a three-dimensional world uh, based on the tools pretty much which you have, uh, how to do something special. Again, uh, check what others think about the school. Why don't you join today? I mean, uh, what holds you back? For example, when we started the school, uh, the price was uh, a little cheaper uh, when the first people uh, joined the school, but I had to increase because I'm constantly maintaining my site and adding additional security and so on. And uh, um, believe me, that's not cheap, uh, you know, to pay for those uh, uh, services. And if they're gonna raise the price, I'm gonna raise the price also. And um, but if you signed and you pay, for example, the price which is today, it's going to be locked for you. So you're still going to pay the same price. No matter if I'm going to increase uh, in the future, it's still going to be the same price for you uh, forever. I mean, as long as you want to stay, nothing to lose. Okay. So if you don't like the school, no hard feeling, just cancel it. Email me, uh, say, hey, I, you know, I think your school is not what I expected, okay? Please do that, okay? I, I Like I said, no hard feeling, nothing to lose, all right? And um, like I said again and again and again, please check what other people think who joined. I have some uh, furniture makers. I have some uh, other people who do have a schools and they still signed up, uh, you know, uh, to be students of my school because I, I know some tricks uh, which is probably you can utilize in any uh, if you are a furniture maker you can utilize those trick in your furniture making business okay and uh, if you're just a hobbyist uh, i can uh, teach you from the beginning stage all the way to the most advanced okay all the way to the most advanced but anyway join today thank you very much have a good one